Hey everyone, thanks for joining us this week. We are in, I don't know, Moab, I guess. We're, we're actually like about five miles north of Arches National Park in Utah. We found a great place to boondock. Well, anywhere here are great places to boondock, but we are at a place called Dinosaur Tracks. Um, right now, Cupcake is probably three miles from us, I'm guessing, three miles. And we are at the um, dinosaur, dinosaur stomping grounds. So last week we had snow in Colorado Springs with Steve's parents and sister. And this week we have 80 to 85 degrees and the humidity is really low and it's very dusty. So Cupcake is covered with a fine layer of dust and um, my nose is covered with a fine layer of boogers constantly. I'm not supposed to say that, am I? Um, anyways, right now we are at, yeah, see, I'm constantly like this. Um, we are at Dinosaur Stomping Grounds and it's pretty amazing. It's from the Jurassic period. There are um, three toed footprints. I can't remember what they're called. I'm looking at this thing, but oh, it's called a theropod and they were carnivores. So this area was like underground or underwater and they thought that the theropods came here to eat whatever dead things washed ashore. So look at these. Here's a clearer footprint of a three toed. So yeah, you can see them all over right here. So like something stood here eating something, I guess. I don't know. It's pretty cool though. It's pretty amazing to think that all of these prints that we see in the ground are from dinosaurs. Like that's amazing to think that we're standing where dinosaurs stood. So I keep expecting to see one light coming across. Right out of the desert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Tonight was my turn to make dinner, and I did not film it, but I'll show you what I made. It's possible to do this in a tiny little camper, but probably not everything is as hot as you would wish it to be when you start to eat it. Okay, so I made a um, bulgogi kimchi rice bowl. I, these are tiny little meats that I um, marinated with ginger, and garlic, soy sauce, sesame oil, and soy brown sugar. Underneath it is some rice that we had left over. Here is one bok choy that we had left, so we chopped it up and cooked it. A little bit of canned kimchi. This is some sweet, no, butternut squash that we had left over from we were um, boondocking near Santa Fe. So I use that, it's been in the freezer chopped up. And a little bit of egg, a little bit of Thai basil, a little bit of green onion, and did I say egg? Fried egg on top of each. So even in a tiny little camper, we could still eat pretty well. So here we are in Arches National Park. We are near the landscape arch, which was a bit of a rock scramble after the landscape arch. We just saw Partition Arch and are now headed to Navajo Arch. Steve up ahead. Cool little rock formations. This is from the five foot four view. And here it's from the six foot three view. <laughs> Here we are at the Malahoe Arch. There might be an arch that you can see all the way through, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, it is. Sweet. Huh. 
It's not what I expected. So every couple weeks we have uh, our laundry day. So we pretty much have enough clothes to last about two weeks. Uh, that's with a little bit of recycling. Uh, but we've been hiking, so our stuff is sweaty and stinky. So uh, we're coming in a little bit less than two weeks, but today's laundry day. So we collect like all of our dirty clothes, our towels, you know, our mat that we use in the shower, and now we're gonna hit a laundry mat and uh, do a little laundry. Here's what I learned today. Oh, I guess I have a mask on my chin. <laughs> Here's what I learned today. If you have a few, I don't know, what it costs, 20, 30, $40,000 extra, come to Moab, and buy a laundromat. <laughs> You'll make a fortune. That was the most crowded with the fewest washers and dryers. Good ones, but yeah. Big people were really, literally waiting in line with their basket of wet clothes for the dryer. So not a normal experience. Normally we just get to hang out, soak up some Wi-Fi, which we did, but um, the good part of it is, is that right next to the laundromat is a food truck center. So I don't know about Steve, but this chubby girl, she's getting some lunch from a food truck. <laughs> good morning, everybody. It is, uh, oh, I don't know, 5.30 in the morning. And we are sneaking out of our campsite to, trying to sneak. Well, we're sneaking as much as you can sneak in a, a diesel, diesel truck camper. Uh, what, it's just crazy though. I mean, when we came into this area last night, we're on BLM uh, land. And when we came in last night, there was a lot of other cars, but not like it is today. When we woke up this morning, we literally had a car that was five feet <laughs> off of the right side of us. And now as we're driving out, you just see everybody's like, we're all packed in here like sardines. Uh, usually yeah, probably hundreds of, yeah there's hundreds uh, of campers and campers things and cars and yeah. SUV so Thanks. anyway we thought we'd just give you like a quick view of uh, you know what our morning is looking like so far probably 50 cars, trucks, SUVs, and campers in like a dirt parking lot in just that section. And this BLM goes on for miles, so lots of people back here. So it's almost 7 a.m. We've been in the park for an hour or so, and we're doing some of the less popular trails this morning. And this is more our style of hiking or trekking or whatever you want to call it. There's like nobody here at this particular spot. So we're kind of glad we came in early, but uh, it's kind of windy today and definitely behind uh, the camera, it is pretty cloudy. So we'll see how long we make it.
Arches National Park was a lot of fun. We enjoyed the wide open spaces, the gigantic landscapes, and the rugged hiking. We may be somewhat citified, but we were surprised again and again at the ruggedness of a few of the popular hiking trails. We saw countless trekkers who pulled up short and decided to call it a day rather than brave a steep, rock fin climb. We braved a few climbs ourselves, but certainly not all of them. As you gaze the line of cars lined up to enter the park at 11 a.m., you'll understand why we entered the park at 5.30 a.m. Join us next week when we get caught up in a dust storm and visit Canyonlands National Park.